Hey guys, it's Albert. I just saw Mega Shark vs. Colossus aired on the Sci Fi Channel yesterday night. The newest Mega Shark film by the Asylum. And I wanted to talk to you about it a little bit because I'm a giant Mega Shark fan, okay? I There may be other larger fans out there. I do not know. Personally, I have not met them. But I was so, so psyched for this movie coming up to it, and I wanted to give you a few of my thoughts. And I gotta start off by saying, a little bit disappointed. A little bit disappointed in Mega Shark vs. Colossus. I mean, we're coming off of the high point of the series, Mega Shark vs. Mecha Shark. It started out, I don't want to talk about Mega Shark vs. Giant Octopus, hated that movie. Got up to Mega Shark vs. Crocosaurus. That one was so bad it was good. Hilarious fun. Then you get Mega Shark vs. Mecha Shark. And they're really hitting it now. They're really firing on all cylinders. Love that movie so much. I saw the trailer for Mega Shark vs. Colossus. I got so excited. And then it came out. And in the first five minutes, they show me Rosie from Mega Shark vs. Mecha Shark. They show me. That she's the head of an all-female submarine pilot team tasked with hunting down the Mega Shark in whatever incarnation it should pop up in. And they kill her off. They kill off the most, like, the character from the previous movie. They're like, oh, we're going to bring her back. We're going to make it continuity. And I'm like, yes, this is great. They're in these special, super futuristic looking submarines. I was like, this is going Godzilla. Like, finally now we're in this universe where Mega Shark is seen as this giant threat. And everybody is like pulling together to try to stop him. And he don't want, make sure he never comes back. They have the cool future tech like they had from Godzilla. Where they had the special teams that were tasked with hunting down monsters. And Godzilla in particular and all that stuff. And then they kill her off in the first five minutes. And it's not even a cool death. Alright? It's like she commits... Not suicide. I mean, she, you know, she blows up her ship in the attempt to kill the Mega Shark And doesn't even succeed. She does a heroic sacrifice and accomplishes nothing. You don't get to do that. You do not get to take one of the cool characters from the coolest movie of the Mega Shark series, bring her in here, just be like, eh, yeah, she got killed by a little baby one. She survived, like, being eaten by the Mega... Anyway, point being, right there, they just went, they started going downhill. Now, there were some good good things about this movie. Um, The CIA agent chick that they brought in had some of the best lines, and one of the coolest characters in the movie... But they keep doing this thing where the bad guys make the most sense. Like, you have these weird environmentalists that come in and they're like, Oh no, we shouldn't kill the Mega Shark, we should study it. It's like, we've, we, no, we should not study it. It's gonna keep coming back and try, it just blew up, it just keeps knocking down landmarks. Stop trying to study it and try to kill it. We know you're gonna kill it by the end of the movie. <sighs> Whatever. Anyway. CIA chick was awesome. Scientist people who were arguing about environmentalism, a little bit less awesome. The the one general of the battleship, I kind of liked him. Honestly, there were some really cool characters. The problem was that you get through about the first 15 minutes and then you get bogged down in... <sighs> Mega Shark is just getting shot at by battleships and not even... In a particularly interesting way. They just go out and start shooting at him. Trying to draw him in and blow him up. Like that has... It's never worked ever in the entire course of the series. But whatever, fine. We don't learn from our mistakes. We don't even see him though. We see the battleship shooting at him. But we see like little snippets of... Oh, here he is. Oh, he's gone. Like, I mean... We had such a cool effects extravaganza in the previous movie. With Mecha Shark and Mega Shark fighting each other. And oh, by the way... If you call your movie Mega Shark vs. Colossus, Mega Shark and Colossus should fight for more than five minutes. Oh. I didn't hate this movie. There was a lot to like about it. The effects were okay uh, for an asylum film for the budget they're working with. But 
they just squandered such an interesting concept. I mean, all of the cool stuff from the trailer is either from the first 10 minutes or from the last 10 minutes of the movie. And those are the only bits that are worth watching. And also all of the CIA chicks lines that are really cool. But everything else is just Mega Shark getting shot at by battleships and Colossus walking through apparently empty countryside. Like, if you're not going to have them fight, at least have Colossus threaten some people. We talk- They talked about what a big threat he was. I understand, again, there's limited budgets here, but you could show him blowing something up. You could have him stomping through a city with, you know, really bad backgrounds and composited in com- explosions. It doesn't need to be perfect. Come on, guys. I, oh, there was so many characters that they didn't have time to do justice to. I didn't... Definitely not the worst entry in the series, but it's definitely a step down from Mega Shark versus Mecha Shark as far as the quality of the film, and then it wasn't bad enough to laugh at like Mega Shark versus Crocosaurus was. It's definitely far and above way better than Mega Shark versus Giant Octopus. Hated that movie, but I'm I'm still on board with the franchise. You understand? I still love Mega Shark, but I want something more. I want I, I want a better movie. You had him fight the robot shark, and that was awesome. Have some stuff carry over from movie to movie. It's okay. We can have, you know, characters survive through the next movie. And if you couldn't afford her, whoever the actress's name that plays Rosie, then don't bring her back at all. Don't bring her back and kill her off in the first ten minutes. Anyway, still looking forward to the next one. There was some really awesome moments. Once the Mega Shark and the Mecha sh- and sorry and. <laughs> my brain keeps going back to that. I love that movie so much. Once Mega Shark and Colossus fought, that was great. Like once they actually got together, they were punching each other. Stuff you saw from the trailer happened. That was all good. It just took so long to get there, and went through so much crap that didn't need to be in there, and establishing things in the universe that aren't going to carry over into the next movie. Red Mercury probably never going to get mentioned again in the series. As much as I love that cool wor- weird world building stuff, you gotta have some consistency. You gotta not kill off your Rosie characters. That's what I thought. 